DojaToja.com. Cop rushing on everybody. The Santos very sloppy. Bitch. Roger, do your copy. Oh. Okay. 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 What I gotta do to just make it? I wanna hit. Show your ass and I'ma take it. The yeah, devil's on the ledge. <laughs> what I gotta do to just make it? I'm on the edge. Show me where it's at, or I'ma take it. The devil's on the ledge. Check, check. What DJ Caramel? Oh yeah, yeah. You was with DJ Caramel this weekend, getting, getting wasted. You was on the ledge. <laughs> yeah, that was on the ledge. Those are totally exclusive, unreleased music from Tony Red. Okay. This is the Doja Toja podcast number forty-two, man. Oh man. It's the Jackie Robinson show. Yeah, man. We, we we the first we the first out here to, to ball, man. We set we setting trends and we pioneering. You know what I'm saying? They call us. They call me the pioneer, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Number 42, man. Back like we never left, man. We live on Facebook, YouTube, live on the Mitzler app. Yeah, y'all get y'all got me some, some lights, lights in there early. early. We could take, take off. We could just go ahead and take off. Go ahead and take off. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Go ahead and take off. That's cool. That's cool. For... Go ahead and take off. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, man, I got my boy Tony Red back in the building with me. Yes, sir. Yes, how, sir. How was yes, your sir. weekend? Man, after Wakanda, man. After Wakanda, man. After okay, Wakanda. okay. Well, yeah, we're going to get into Wakanda. Oh, my goodness. And plenty more. Uh, that's down to the first thing we do need to talk about. I was Wakanda out the whole weekend. The, the whole weekend? The whole you weekend, was just in Wakanda? Just in Wakanda on, on hiatus. Did you bring us back any, uh, any tricks? Any, nah, any, man. Any they, they got, you know, they customs is real tricky. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't, got, you ain't get no vibranium about them? I didn't, man, but I got me a good time, man. Fe left, I left it with my face wet. <laughs> hey, man, that's what's up, man. Uh, well, I, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself and, and enjoyed the movie, sounds like. Yeah. Sounds like you enjoyed the movie. That movie was awesome. And, spoiler alert, we're going to get into this early. We're going to get into this uh, quick because probably a lot to talk about. So, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the movie, then, yeah, you might want <laughs> go to go take a piss or something, mm -hmm. you know, because we got plenty to talk about this week. Again, this is Doja Total Podcast number 42. We are in November, getting ready for the holiday season, whatever that means, whatever that motherfucker mean, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> getting ready for the money spending season. Yeah, yeah, but you know. Spend the money outside your community season. It's getting kind of cold out here in these streets. It's getting kind of cold out here in these streets, man. Everybody with me? Everybody uh, good so far? Y'all give me some likes. Let me know in the comment box if y'all uh, if if you can hear me. And then let me know in the comment box if you can. If you can't hear me, I appreciate everybody for checking in early. Shout out to DJ TC, TC. on Friday night house parties, man. Y'all go check him out tomorrow night, eight o'clock. Yeah, man. It's, it, it should be it should be another eventful. Friday, you know what I mean? Um, also, last Sunday, man, before we get into Black Panther, I want to talk about the weekend, because last Sunday, DJ Shed Street starts at 10 o'clock with the, with, what we call it, the Sunday mixtape, right? Mm. And I've been calling it gospel, and I don't really Sunday know what Sunday motivational mixtape. Right? I don't know what they even call it, right? Because it, it's, it's just right music. It's just good music. And it was, I'm talking about the type of music that make you stop and be like, hold on, who this is, bro? <laughs> hey, who we listening to? Hey, hey, who, who it's that is, bro? Hip hopping for adults. Yeah, 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 man. Sundays like, with Shed Street. Congratulations <laughs> to DJ Shed Street, man. On last, the last yeah, show was show. was brilliant. He hit over a hundred likes. He only been in the game for like a month. He like, you know what I'm saying? He like two months in and he already got over 100 likes. We almost hit 200 likes for his uh for his show last Sunday, man. And and I've been learning. I'm, I, 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 
Damn, then I went celibate on that. <laughs> Think about going celibate after this and trying to get focused again, like you know, getting right with get, getting right with them and and, and do him or her. Or what, that it, music you know, do put you in that boomerang mind state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was, it's, it's, it was what you need, man. We had church low key on those Told You Radio, and then we came on, um, came on back with the Jaguar jig. The Jig and Review from Jaguar Jig. That was, you know, sports uh, front with a twist. And the Jaguars, he, he said the Jaguars was going to win, but we all knew that the Jaguars was not going to beat they ate Pat Mahomes. They ate it Patrick good. the Mahomes. They ate it good. Yeah, man. But, you know, Jaguar Jig. Always have faith in the Jaguars. Me yeah. too, but damn. 35, 28, Jaguars. My I one, was like, my one gray hair I got is from the motherfuckers. <laughs> but then you know it was good it was good Sunday man very exciting football game um, Vikings first the uh, the Vikings first the Bills game yeah that was Vikings, a motherfucker Vikings man pulled that out and you know it's getting real interesting you know a lot of new but we gonna get into sports a little later man let's go ahead and get right back to the spoiler alert in case everybody here everybody here y'all, y'all ready alright so you ready we need some. We need some. All right, you music ready? For that shit. You ready? Come on. Oh, oh. Do, do we need some music? We needed the music for that shit. <laughs> Cause shit. I mean, I like the last. Nerd, I ain't nerd. gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna lie. Now the album out, and this is a music podcast. Shout out to Nas and the new uh, Rihanna song mm-hmm. and the Black Panther album, right? Yeah. Um, Soundtrack. I like the last. I like the last soundtrack a little bit more. I ain't gonna lie. I think it's because the nostalgia from the first movie. This got some good songs on. I haven't heard the whole thing, but it got some good songs on. And that movie, man, that movie. Was just like, to me, it had a couple parts in it because I watched it at IMAX. Wakanda forever. <laughs> IMAX show it all, but uh, yeah, Wakanda forever. Or is it? Hell no. Are you yeah, that's exactly. They're doing the Ayuki. It's real history. It's crazy. Hmm? A lot of this shit is from real history. Like, uh, was on real statues and stuff. Yeah, yeah. The Mayan um, ancient history, they, they really followed a lot. Uh, making Namor um, from that, from the Yucatan Peninsula. And a lot of folks called them Mexicans. You, like, basically, I've seen a lot of folks saying... What's, shout out to Melody Man. What's up, bro? Uh, a lot of folks Melody were saying Man. that the folks was uh they put they pitted black folks versus Mexicans, but there was not really them saying Mexicans. Nah, because if you look at folks the, were saying they natives. You but, saw the scene when he took the mama back, and he saw he he said he saw something that he didn't like. It was Mexicans or Yucatans or. I don't know the official term. Don't be mad at me. And black people being enslaved. Slave, yeah. Yeah, so it's like people, it was together. people over there on that side mm-hmm. being a slave. It was like that's what all the slave. Uh, yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Generations of tribes uh, getting together and saying, "Yeah, y'all." But at the same that. time, that's not even those folks because those folks was already over here. Nobody ain't bring, bringing them folks over here. Uh, how how old? Is the Mayans it? Have, was already over there. Name more people was already over here. From what they saying, they was they was natives. They not you know what I'm saying they are native, and, and some of us <laughs> and some of us are natives yeah. over here. You're, you're you know, us natives. from whatever they try to say, we, we what we are. But anyway, we ain't, we ain't gonna get that deep. We ain't gonna get canceled. <laughs> we ain't gonna get canceled today. <laughs> Don't carry me. Anyway, but uh, yeah, man, I just wanna. So you, what else you got? For the movie, man, because I, I the fighting scenes. I mean, everything about the movie was good. I think the story was good. I think it could have been better. I think Storm could have been introduced into the the fold. Like, I this, my theory is Storm would have came from because you know in the comic books Storm actually marries T'Challa or whatever. So if Storm would have came and been in the mama Angela Bassett same tribe because they got that same white hair. They could have easily brought the, brought another mutant in with Namor. Then at the end fight, she could have came and helped them. That would have ushered in the fucking X Men right there. 
If you would have directed the movie. If I would have directed the movie. But Ryan Coogler did it. He did an amazing motherfucking job. And I ain't hating on him. I just wish that shit would have happened. Cause well, shout out to Ryan Coogler. Definitely. He by the own Wells Fargo Bank of America. One of them motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. Because they did do that racist ass shit yeah. when he uh, was in there trying to get that money, man. <laughs> so get your money, Ryan Coogler. <laughs> but, but I don't know how much how how I felt about the movie, man. I didn't really like the movie, man. Why? I don't Not, know if I really that's why it. you said you was gonna wait to talk about it. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot that I've I didn't like about times. the movie, man. It's a lot that I didn't like as far as the first one ain't really even as far as the Marvel movies go as a whole. Now, as far as a black movie and what it means for to see these characters looking powerful like they were that's important and that's great yeah. right but I'm not so sure like if there were like any black male like they killing all the black men black men like T'Chaka died now, now we got T'Challa you know what I'm saying we it's got a, Killmonger all the king all the black kings in Wakanda have died, you know what I'm saying? And then now we get, you know what I'm saying, it, it was pretty much ran by white, uh, black women. And that, yeah, not that's that a problem. Does that the world? Not, yeah, not that it's a problem because black women, you know what I'm saying, could run shit, you know, I, I, I'm with that. Mm -hmm. But there was not really any men fighting. Like, last Mbaku? time, got Mbaku was the only man on the village, you know what I'm saying, worth a fight, like in and a he sense. Was comedy relief a little bit. Like and he was like the comedy relief, but it was like he was the only black man that almost had a, a speaking part. So I got a question. What about I mean I understand hold what you're on, saying. Hold on. I, I got a question. He was though. the only black man that had a speaking part on the movie. If y'all ain't seen the movie, I'm sorry. Spoiler alert. What's wrong with that though? It's women, it's black women in there. But Wakanda with Chadwick dying, Passing, right? the king is dead. His his arm okay, is Okay, him and the dude the, with the lip. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He dude with the bowl on his lip. Michael B. Jordan has speaking What's part? up with the dude with the bowl on? Man, it's a lot I want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? That's I part of that culture. <laughs> I got to keep it together. They got, they got the dude with the bowl on his lip and, mm -hmm. and Michael B. Jordan came back from the dead. And have a quick little talking roll, you know what I'm saying? As yeah. a black man. But I'm just saying, man. Everything How many got... people is that? Mbaku, uh, Michael B. Jordan, the name of the thing in his lip. Who else? Who else? Uh, that's it. <laughs> that, that's it. Who are you? Talking about him. Uh -huh. The one who on the first one was like, who hey, are hey, you? what's your yeah, name? Yeah. Whatever. Hold on, so that's four people, right? Now let's look at the first one T'Challa. Maccabi and Baku, Michael B. Jordan. It's still four. It's still the same. It's just that this one, the King Dead, our guy, he gone. So the, the main rest of the rest of the, the rest of the black man say ooh 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 ooh. Then the other ones, ooh, ooh, yeah. Oh, 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 you got okay, you got okay, but, but, but that pass that, pass that, pass that. That <laughs> was just that, that was an observation. That was an observation. Then, okay, the they more just came. I felt like everything was kind of rushed. They were just throwing things at me, right? They just threw the rushed in three hours. It was rushed in three hours, right? The movie was three hours long, but I felt like everything was rushed because they, they tried to cover so much. Now, they introduced Iron, Ironheart, um, and that was that was cool, mm -hmm. but they kind of just threw rushed that at that me. too. They just threw that at me. They Because uh, Dr. Doom was supposed to be the person who... Yeah, yeah, it was like yeah. like I was like, wait a minute, no saying, hold on, y'all already this part of the story. LJ the Joker. So like y'all kind of, and, and I'm with the director having the power to rearrange the comics it like as they will, just like they rearranged it to even be, um, you know, I mean, unfortunately, not recast, uh, not recast Chadwick or whatever, mm -hmm. and just like they rearranged it. With you rather than a lot of different ways. Them? Uh -huh. You rather them recast the show? Yes, absolutely. They they should have kept that Black Panther uh, alive. I don't and, think and you well. could please. They could, they, I don't think they would have made a decision that was going to please anybody one hundred percent. I think what they did showing that the strength and the women that's behind T'Challa 
is 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 a play on life. All our men is locked up, and you know a lot of them are stray. And Man, who's where left? They was the, at? Who's left to fend and take care of the families? Right? Yeah. It's usually the women. So I think it was a play off that because Ryan Coogler grew up sort of like that, you know, around grandma and mommy and stuff like that. I, only part I didn't like is the guy walked past at the end in some pumps. I, I, I was like, why did they need that part? They threw, like, they threw the fact of the women being in control. Yeah, and they died too, though. Just Everything like was so kind of rushed to me. Like, that's all I want to say. Everything was kind of rushed. Uh, and then the action... I almost forgot about the the beginning scene with with the, when the, when the girls went off in the beginning or whatever. Like I almost forgot about that. Like, yeah, because the action was kind of far and few in between, but it was like it was a healing movie, man. It kept it was a healing, like and it was know, a build up of sure. I felt the getting angry or being able. I to love take that. that I love that part. Yeah, but that and was then I love I love the whole plan. Like I was almost like, oh, I I went the plan. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Let's see what they can do if y'all two say, fuck you. Excuse my language, you know what I'm saying? But we, we, we I wanted we to see her be, I wanted to see her be like how she was in the comic book, but she ruthless. Was Killmonger, was Killmonger and, right after all? Yeah. He was right. He, mm-hmm. he told her what she, he needed to tell her to get her fired up. But her brother inside of her wasn't going to let her go. Then she ain't even really do. They ain't really. I wanted to have her training, in a sense. I wanted to see her. She needs to. I wanted to see her do like a test run, almost like before we go to the like major like fight. Like Spider Man or something. Like I want to see her goddamn get used to these powers in a sense, just a little bit. She just came back and then she was thugging. She she, was, got, she got the stuff in her system. She came out thugging. She got the power of best. Oh, she now she came boss. out thugging. Before she had big old long weaves, you remember in the first one she had weave with long weave. Yeah, she more saying? tomboys now. On this you know what I'm saying? On this too. one, now she came out there. Yeah. Corporate thug. I said that. CTE. Until they made, the day they I die, her, just the way it gonna be. They boiled her up a little bit to make her, and she had on pads because you know she, the girl's so skinny. She had on like you can see the pads in her clothes to make her look thicker. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. But she still was a small black like, pad. The, out, the the costumes was, and shit. Was beautiful. Like Angela Bassett. Oh, Everything man. was beautiful. The what, whole movie was beautiful. What else you see black people on the screen like that? The whole movie was beautiful though. Like I ain't gonna lie, everything about the movie was beautiful. Like other than that, like it was long as hell. But then they even didn't even even the the cut scene at the end. We ain't gonna talk like that much about the cut scene at the end. But maybe you know, everybody know what we're talking everybody, about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, Even that part was rushed though. Like they was just like, all right, ta da. I think that was a part of the movie anyway, um, because. The last scene and the the credit scene is the same scene. Like it goes right from her getting there until it yeah. cut out, and then it shows her meeting him. So it's I think that was already a part of the scene. Maybe you know. I like that Mbaku came out on her challenge day, seeing that ain't nobody gonna beat him. And why nobody can't beat him? Cause he's big as hell. He's strong he's like a girl. He really ain't even seen that big at, in the first one. If you notice, he got a little big or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, cameras get better and, you know, they but, sell. Uh, and I, I don't like how they was just standing on the block when the flood came. Like, it was like the nigga was standing out there like King of the Hill, drinking beer and talking yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, oh, we ain't, like, it's all good. Oh, everybody's just in the city today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's like it's a it's a it's a picnic it's a it's a barbecue yeah. you catch us slipping in the barbecue and ain't nobody got on no shorts no jeans you know, everybody still got on man them. them boys crept with Wakanda too easy man like even from the jump he walk up in there just out of nowhere no they problem. supposed to be going on a on a on a a retreat a retreat yeah he popped up in that business they like, taking no. a girls trip and buddy just pop up like. <laughs> Was that man? My mother told me of a place like this. Yes, I always <laughs> dreamed of it. Where people don't have to like fuck with nobody, but you gonna have to fuck with me today. Hey, he got it crazy too. Yeah, man. But yeah, I love the movie. Everything about the movie was great, man. We uh, we want you to go see it. Definitely support Ron. Cool. He say you see. He's seen it. I've seen a, it four a few times. times. Four times. My bad. Three of them was bootleg, but. <laughs> 
But the first one I went and paid for it, I made The bootleg don't look that good, so go see it in the movie theater. It's Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever, or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, man, but it's been, it's been, that's been a hell of a week to start the, the to start the week off, so I knew I had to come in and, and talk that shit here on the show. But I also had to talk that shit about Nas, man. Nas done dropped this weekend, The King Disease 3. Killing shit. Still. Still killing shit. Shout out to Hit Boy. Um, and you know, I'm still listening to, still listening to, to Drake and 21 and laughing at the, uh, 21. Why don't you do something for me? Hey, they, be, they be killing like Drake for me. Like, it ain't even like, I don't even got to make no more jokes no more. It's like, but it's like. Drake the guy. Drake that guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to love it. But Nas Pulling the Chris came out of nowhere and was like, shh, hush up a little bit. King disease, people. You know what I'm saying? He'll take this. After y'all here, because Drake why, coming with it. That's why 21 said he wasn't relevant because he came around the same time that they dropped their shit and they was trying to... Well, they was in Clubhouse. Okay, so 21, you know what I'm saying? 21, we're going we're gonna to get the 21 out the way then get to the Nas. 21 basically saying Nas ain't relevant to 21's perspective is like... Uh, musical, yeah. I'm in the South. Nas ain't relevant because Atlanta... Atlanta for one, Atlanta rappers are very, very like Atlanta rappers feel like and they 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 got this that they run music and like New York did when, like, they, when right. they had it. And California and, did and when they without had Without them right now, hip hop ain't shit. And the beautiful thing about Atlanta is that the DJs are playing the new Artists that they, the songs you ain't never even heard yep. in, the, in the club before you even welcome to New Atlanta. Like welcome they playing, Atlanta. they playing the music. That new challenge. And what we doing everywhere else is playing their shit. But that's another that's another story. Yep. I ain't gonna go back there with whatever. Yep. Appreciate the support, whatever. Everybody I mean, on I Instagram, follow us on YouTube, and hit us up with a cash app. Doja Told You Radio. Anyway, <laughs> yes, yes. Anyway. Yeah, man, 21 was just saying, like, from my point of view, I don't really see Nas. He, like, older. He from mm -hmm. New York, whatever, whatever. But he definitely still kind of was wrong because Nas just won a Grammy two years ago. And mm -hmm. with King was one, uh, the, the second King disease, I think. Um, might have been the first one won the Grammy. But because he done dropped three on them one, in one year. Plus Magic. Right. That's when it was two, yeah, two so King Disease four and Magics. So but it's four, but it's four in like the last three, four and two the last years. three, two years, two, three years. That's crazy. That's work. And like, yeah, like give Nas his, give Nas his flowers. Like Top Nas stuff. is killing shit right now. Like, because he killing it <laughs> from this level of yeah, him and, but Hit Boy killing it because Hit Boy producing the whole thing, doing the Manny Fresh mm -hmm. and the Independent. Mm -hmm. he, they took it back old school. Nas on no saying Nas independent with uh that label or whatever like with these King diseases. Who so. else hit boy sound good? But he with? Nas, but he independent. But he he also Nas, so he he done that had the billion that status because yeah. he had tech because he had yeah. tech ring uh, and all investor, that. Yeah. Um, on a lot of different levels in tech. So who else you hear hit boy doing this? Like could do this with and revive their career. Lefty guns, my boy Tony Rick Nas. Nah. Lefty guns uh, ain't pop. Yeah, I'm talking right, about people who else that's already uh, uh, Nah, I just had to give my boy uh, a shout, shout out. Left um, he can do this with Tyler. Tyler, he can also he can also do what you mean to produce the whole album. Mm -hmm. Big Sean. If Jewel Santana, yeah, did it with Big Sean. Jewel Santana and Hit Boy got together, they couldn't. Sometimes people be like they don't like Hit Boy beats. On a couple of them other albums, there was there was questioning his. Beats if you were rapping, like Nas, I don't I don't never really remember Nas beats too much anyway. But they always say that Nas picked bad beats or whatever historically. Nah, that's what's, Nas that's just what's, got a, what's a, a unique Nas. sound that he stand by. That's yeah. like what 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 he say? That's that's Pepsi. Like he got to change. It's a brand it's name. A brand. That's it's what a brand it is. name. Yeah. Right? Pepsi. It's a brand name. Yeah. Fuck that. Oh, 
But yeah, man, that King Disease Three. Yeah, man, that that like they could do this. Sound like they could do this shit every other every other month. And what that mean to me is is Nas basically is in his best pocket at this late in his life, right? Yeah. Arguably his best pocket. He was in his best pocket when he first came out, the very first album. Then he kind of drifted from that pocket, and then now these last three years he's been in his best. He's, the, he's the, in his bag. When he was doing the mashups with uh, Ziggy Marley and now, Marley the, now, Boys. The, I love that album. That's yeah. what they, now that was. That's a classic. The, yeah. the Damien and Nas album. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Puma. My boy mixed that, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Oh, for real? Yeah, my okay, that's what's up. Recorded most of the mixed it, you know what I'm saying? That's fine. My boy Puma. Uh, I want to see him do another man yeah, show with somebody. Our, our fantasy football league right now, but he going down. I want to see Nas do a mashup with somebody new. A mashup with, uh oh, somebody new. Now, that would be interesting. Nas with Sizzle. I want to no, see Nas not, with Sizzle. Not necessarily that new. I'm talking about... Oh, you talking about... Oh, something weird. Now I was in two chains. Oh man, I don't oh, know. Imagine man. how that'll sound. Chains got lyrics too, chains but Chains can snap. Chains, chains got lyrics, speak. but it's just Nah. Oh, but you just like how Drake two chains just, put like Drake and Twenty One. Just like that. Drake and Twenty One. Oh, okay, I see what you I see what you where you're going with. Yeah. I'll I will i will say Nas and B O B. I think that'd be boring. <laughs> Ain't gonna work. Ain't gonna work. Cause they both be on the same shit already. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah, wanna hear that. I wanna hear something class. That shit gonna be it's gonna be a little too uh pop it's gonna be a little too poppy for you. I wanna hear Probably something. Yeah. I wanna hear something uh, class. Yeah man, Roddy Rich dropping tomorrow. Uh rest in peace, Young Dolph. Hey, rest Dolph. in peace, Young Dolph, man. Um a year ago today, man. Young Dolph passed. Happy or well, before we uh, be, before we take a shot, also take a shot to uh, my my cuz. Yeah, you gonna give us a. Uh, I was just gonna take an empty shot, man. They don't know. They don't even know what I got. <laughs> he got me though. You know what I'm saying? Undisclosed bottle yeah, of yeah. water, cause I'm a little thirsty. Told you, told you, secret juice. But yeah, man, rest in peace to Young Dolph, man. Rest they still player. actually been investigating his uh. His murder. They picked up another suspect. Um, they got a whole indictment sheet. A week, it. a week ago. Matter of fact, the suspect was a. Uh, is the suspect related to uh, Gotti? The suspect got something. Not to do that one, uh, but it's more. They coming. picked up three. It's three other suspects so far that they done picked up so far. In they the got case, Canadian Smith. They got Justin Johnson. They got uh, Hernandez oh, Govin uh, <laughs> right now, and then. Uh, some stuff came out there about Justin Johnson's brother, Marcus or Johnson, or something like that. The Marcus Johnson, yeah, they, they got a secret indictment on him as well. So all the top people that's involved in this is coming. Just you know. Well, patient. yeah, this one's for and all the boys. Rest in peace, Young Dolph. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. Um, rest in peace, she, she, uh we got to talk about Shaquille. We're going to talk about that probably in a part two. Um, everybody that passed, man, rest in peace. I'm going to think about it. Rest in peace, Chad with Bozeman. Mm -hmm. the, origin, yeah. uh, the original Black Panther. Original. And um, rest in peace, Young Dolph, man. TJ. <laughs> ah. <Ooh. coughs> Feel it. Oh, you went crazy. I ain't even. Yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. Go crazy <laughs> like your song, baby. You know how we like it. Yeah, oh, baby, I like it, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Rest in peace to ODB too. I think it was his birthday the other day. Wow. Rest in peace. Me and Go back like babies and pacifiers. Oh, dirty dog liar. That man. When I was in Baltimore, that's all they played Wu Tang. Hey man, before we go though, shout out to Angela Bassett and Big shout time. out shout to uh, uh, Lupita, man. Shout Shh. out to Lupita. Shout out to Lupita. Okay, also this weekend, this weekend, before we leave this weekend, Saturday Night Live, man. Dave Chappelle, man. Did you see the uh, Dave did, Chappelle Saturday Night Live? I watched it. Yeah, watched that it. was that was what's happening. Dave Chappelle did his thing. He uh. 
he he he. It was go. business like, as usual. It's, yeah, business as usual yeah. with Dave Chappelle. Like he's gonna bring it. Um, but then, he, like he said, you can't say two words that you can't put the, the same thing. I said the Jews. That was like a funny joke that he said. It's truthful. It was truthful. And like a lot of things he said, he wasn't really even like that really harsh on them. It was just like it was almost like he was speaking facts. White, white guy jokes. Funny like, facts. Fun facts. It, jokes like it's not white guy jokes. It's it's a level of jokes when you get to the mind of you can think. And I don't mean to bring it. I don't mean to make it racial. I just mean like a little more clean. Like you know, like yeah, I said, like, like, you know what I'm saying. Uh, blue collar, as I was saying, maybe you know, what I'm saying like I don't know, like, like how to explain it, but it's just he kind of just came with the professional, you know, what I'm saying you know, mix up a little bit, whatever, like you know, it's a little bit of uh, it's a little bit of uh, shucking because he got to throw was Kanye and, and Kyrie or whatever, you know, what I'm saying he got to make a joke about them, but he also making a joke about them kind of in their defense. In yeah. A sense, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, but not, at the same really time, shucking. keeping he's them shucking off of him, job. keeping them off of him as well. Yeah. Not yeah. by going too far, but like you said, it gave him control. Um, and yeah, along with that, I didn't see the the um, clips yet, the sketches, but I'm gonna go back and watch the skits. But yeah, man, Dave Chappelle is the goat, man. Shout out to Dave Chappelle and um, positive rap. Shout out to Nas. What else? Okay. What else I got? Blueface. We got to get to a couple of more hip-hop topics and then um, take a break. Blueface baby got locked up, man, for attempted murder. Yeah, I'm going to stop playing uh, with Blueface. Like. From the bounty hunters, too. Like, oh, yeah, they tried to pull up on them. They did. Them. They, they slammed them up against like the They down there looked like they was about to hit him with the car, but if they, if that's what they was, bounty hunters. Like, who they were doing something? No, they were behind him. Yeah, but they, he, uh, they were waiting for him to come back to Las Vegas. Dude got on live immediately after he was being shot at by uh, Blueface. It's like he couldn't even wait. No, he, it's like he everybody is setting everybody up for for the plate, like right now. So again, don't get set up for the plate, please. Like, like, cause everybody trying to get set up for the plate, cause mm -hmm. everybody thinking about that check. They trying to get you, like excellent. That, that everybody like, like, you know what I'm saying, like. I don't know what your ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? This how I go real quick, man. This how I go real quick. Look, look, look. Look, face over there at the club. Yeah, that's that curly hair, tattoo face red ass nigga. That's Rashawn Rock over there with that gap in the motherfucker mouth. Yeah, that's a gap tooth ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to get the play on these niggas. See that big ass too? You gonna take one for the team? All right, my nigga, but don't let him stomp me out too bad. Niggas get to fight in, you get beat up in the club. Hey, boy, that wasn't enough, boy. We gotta we gotta really pull up on this nigga like we gonna do something. Pull up out there after you just got your ass kicked, cutting people off. And what you think supposed to happen? He should have told you top off your goddamn noggin, cause that is ridiculous, dog. That you you could see that it was a clear bait move. Yeah, man. And you almost got, got killed. They got him though, cause he in jail now. He got yeah, a thousand dollar bond. bond. It's I think he don't really have a bond or bail, but self defense. Bond says she ain't putting down. I done seen that. I seen a little bit of that. I just be flicking through, man. Self defense. It'd be so much going on, man. So they much got to talk about. look. I'm telling you, they got Blueface right now. They got him for the industry. He gonna be for the industry. Romeo and Juliet, Romeo and and you know, they that's that's the story they portray in the show that they already doing. Is you just see the energy keep following, keep following. Meanwhile, okay, and and. Thoughts and prayers to Blueface though, you know what I'm saying? Free Blueface yeah, baby, free whatever, Blueface. like, cause that, you yeah, know, you whatever, I like, pop. I mean, I even, even though <laughs> I might have seen it on tape, whatever, I don't know what's going on, what that situation was about, so I don't, I ain't gonna wish that, man. jail on nobody, but I ain't gonna wish jail on nobody, but one person that might have need to be in jail, and might be getting out of jail, why did I wake up today and seeing everybody talking about Aaron Kelly getting out of jail? Like, what? what what's going on? They done violated him, man. They, they messing up, man. The if they let this the man lawyers. out, you about to see this man doing Popeye's commercials, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Aaron Kelly going to be bigger than ever, though. He going to be the first R&B singer to do uh, every chicken brand commercial. <laughs> 
<laughs> he definitely gonna shake his ass for some cash because he gonna be he gonna be all about that money. But uh, he gonna go straight to the church, and everybody can't wait to get him get out. Like really, he gonna go straight to I, the church. When I from from my timeline, like I like everybody can't wait. They were just like, yeah, like it's on. Why y'all doing me like this, Dad? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fucking killing me, for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, Stupid guys. They should have. You know what they should. You know what his sentence should have been. Me. You know what his sentence should have been. He had. It had to be a live reality show, twenty four seven, of him in fucking jail. Yeah, man. That 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 would have been lit. All thing. Goes. That's how it's gonna be in the future, though. <laughs> That's how it's gonna be in the future. We're gonna be able to uh, have access. Subscribe. So whatever um, mm -hmm. Watch to see if he get killed The future today. man I can't wait to see yeah. To see the future yeah, And all the good, girls man. are fine man Every girl in the world Gonna be fine You know what I'm saying They gonna all have BBLs In the future man The girls are turning To cyborgs Yeah and, You know and, They gonna and, have and, like and All the guys these, Become irrelevant Yeah and, and, and guys are dying off man Black Panther man The Latin the Latin, As my boy Joe Button Say the Latin Panther his message you know is saying? everything. The Latin Panther. And I don't even like how, how, how she was able to kind of do that to Namor or whatever, man. He is way more powerful than that. But she did come with a good plan. But he is more powerful than that. It was like, all of a sudden, he was like, Water! Yeah, I mean... Water! That's the only way she was going to beat him. That's you know the only way she was going to beat him. That's the only way somebody was going to beat him. Like, he ain't that weak without the water. Like, oh... I'm about to die. But when she hit water. that that fire on his ass, that dehydrated him completely. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Water. <laughs> See, this is what happened. When uh when old girl shot him out the air, Ironheart, he was about to fall in the water, but guess what they did? The ship came and caught him so he wouldn't hit the water. Whoa! So, yeah, so now you got Damn, why did they, why did they, so, why did they make a plan to just take just that little little people out there on the ship and just these minor people? That's why I said they can might got they had to have more men to be able to fight. Did you see now, how they did big have that some men was? fighting out there? Now, I ain't saying they men have no was. men because men of the, the Jabari. And why did they? Okay, go see the movie, man. Um. It was Jabari. Yeah. It was the the men that was with. It was the man. Like I ain't gonna say. I'm acting All like one man, but they ain't none of them ain't say nothing. But ooh ooh, <laughs> know what I'm saying? See, you watch your tone, Jabari. Hey, speaking of go, uh, <laughs> gorillas, ooh, shout out to Glorilla. We gonna give it to the uh, Grammy nominations on the next uh, half. We gonna also uh, discuss. Uh, uh, Got to get the politics out the way. We gonna get serious on the next half. We gonna get up out of here, whatever. I know I'm holding y'all. It's about seven thirty, so give it another hour, y'all. Man, we got we got more music. Shout out to the Glorilla album, though. I don't know if I really was digging it, but I do dig Glorilla music. But I like Glorilla. I said Glorilla was gonna be a star from the first time I seen that first uh, video she did when she was in the apartment. Within six before, months before F FNF. She already do make nice music. I don't even like when I hear that song now. That song is nominated for a Grammy, bro. Like, and I and I got to give it praise, but man, fuck nigga, for real, fuck nigga, for real. Like, that's what this is the type of shit I be talking about. Bro. They know what that means. You know what I'm saying? You think that's F that's a backhanded? It is out. Eat out. Eat eat up. Eat a free hit kid. Just got down. They got a hit kid. They got a dance to it for the kids. The hit kid. They got a dance to it for the kids. The one that fucked my daddy. That's what the that's the Grammy. Also, shout out to my. I'm saying my little brother, man. He got nominated for a Grammy or whatever, man. T T, Artie is nominated for a Grammy for the uh. Last year it was done to this year Churchill Downs best rap song. Oh my God! Hey, can I get some that right there? My cousin is nominated for a Grammy as well. Jamison Ross. Jamison in the Blue Jazz Blues department. So make sure y'all check him out. We're gonna talk more about the Grammys when we come back, man. I'm kind of excited, but Glorilla just dropped the album, man, and at least. The tomorrow is a hit, man. So you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And you can say whatever you can say about me today, but I ain't gonna give a fuck tomorrow, man. We'll come right back, man. We got Tony Red in the building. It's the Doja Toja Podcast. Yeah. Forty two. Yeah. Don't go nowhere. Jacket we'll Robinson. be right back, man. You did. Wakanda forever. Forever. Wakanda forever. Rest in peace. Let's keep this thing riding.